In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore a native SQL Server backup to SQL Server Managed Instance. And this screen here, you can see my SQL Server Managed Instance, and I have one database called AdventureWorks there. Let's jump over to Management Studio. This over here is my local on-prem database here. And what I'm going to do is copy this Fabricam database. We're going to back it up to URL. So how do we do that? We first need to create a credential with a shared access signature. So you go out to your storage account. Here we are in Azure. Here's a storage account and I have a container called SQL Restore. You can see there's no files in it, but this is where I'm going to back up my on-premises database to. Click the shared access tokens here pick the right permissions that SQL Server will need in order to be able to back up to this uh, blob storage account. And then you can pick an expiration date here. You can put it out in a few months here. Uh, that way this you can control you know, how long this shared access token is, is valid for. Just click the generate SAS token in URL and then copy that. Jump back over to SQL Server Management Studio and that's what you put in your secret here right here so that's how you set up the secret now i've already created that credential i'm just going to go ahead and back up the fabricam database there's my storage account there is the container and there's the name of the file so let's go ahead and click execute and let that run that just took a few seconds to do the backup now let's look at our storage account again um, back out to the SQL Restore uh, storage account. Here you see the file that I copied with that backup to URL. Let's go back out to SQL Server Management Studio. Now I have on this tab, I have my Restore T-SQL. Same thing here. You'll need the same credential using that same shared access signature so that the SQL Server Managed Instance, let's just close my local one here. Now here is my SQL Server Managed Instance and currently just has a database called AdventureWorks. We're going to create this credential and then restore that same backup file to a database called Fabricam. So I've already created the credential. Let's go ahead and highlight that and click Execute. That is completed in about 20 seconds. Now let's go back over to our managed instance and refresh our database pane here. And you can see before I just had the adventure works, now I have the Fabricam database here. So that is the way to use T-SQL in SQL Server Management Studio to easily restore a native backup file to a managed instance. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.